Hey guys, welcome back to Karin MD. Today we're going to be cooking some pumpkin soup, chicken food soup, whatever you want to call it. But we're going to be cooking some soup. Being Jamaican, I definitely side eye people who join Campbell's soup or a soup from a can or wherever. I'm sorry, I do. I judge you. I judge you. But those who don't know better cannot do better. So I, your girl is here to teach you to do better because that now put it. It's fall, it's a windy day. So hey, North Americans like to drink soup on this type of day. Being Jamaican, we drink soup 24 seven. We have summer all year long because it's, it's just a tropical gem, you know? Like, uh, you yeah, drink soup on a Saturday and the sweat of you. So yeah, we drink soup anytime. But stay with me and learn to make some decent soup. You feel me? <laughs> So first thing first, we'll put our pot on the stove. It is on high. I'm just going to add some green onions, some garlic cloves that are like crushed, whole. By now everybody knows I love thyme. And a scotch bonnet pepper, seasoned pot. And some pink onion salt. Somebody please comment and tell me that they bought some salt. I am begging you. It is chicken food soup, so I wash, you know, I, you know I wash my meat. I cut off the toes. No toes, please, please, don't no toes. Just going to add them in here like that. So technically a soup, a soup is just, it's flavored stuff, you know, you cannot spoil soup. Whatever you like, you put in here. I have some chicken thighs here, I think. My sister don't like chicken food, so I'm going to add some. I washed my meat. I just put a little bit of um, Maggi all purpose on it. That was it. You don't need to do anything else. We have like a ton load of um, natural seasonings here. Not saying Maggi is not natural because hey, Maggi, a girl is waiting to be a brand ambassador over here, okay? But yeah, we just, you know, just a little, little something. Because food for season up, I always say that. And we're just going to leave this on high. And then we're going to take care of our vegetables now, okay? Listen, I don't claim to be no good as country girl when know about pumpkin, but that piece in a look tree bad. So we're just cutting it up in manageable pieces so we can get out the middle right here. Be careful when you're doing this guys. So, all right, we just want to peel off the skin. No, try your best to not take off too much of the pumpkin, like that. And now we're just going to rough chop, rough chop our pumpkin because I don't really, I don't want to say I don't really like pumpkin. I do, but I don't mind if all of mine is like dissolved in my food. I'm fine with that. I don't have to have a piece of pumpkin in my soup. So the preparation is key. So we wash our bitch, peel them, and now we're just going to cut and put them in some water. You can cut your veggies any way you see fit, any way you want. As I said, soup is whatever you make it. I'm just here to show you how I cook mine and the basics, the, just the basics. You see me? So this is just some Irish potato. I have some carrots. I'm just going to cut off the tail over here. As I said, you can cut your vegetables anyhow you want to cut them. Just cutting in some circles, keeping it simple today. And everything have a fancy fancy now. Be a little bit. You can put them in the same water over here. Supposed to look like this if you use poultry a lot of people cook the meat in a separate pot first but I don't do that so all we have to do is take a slotted spoon because this is just grease and fat you know it's not killing you and just remove all of it put it in our pan and we go on our merry way so our water is boiling it's time to put in our pumpkin so see, our water is boiling. 
We're just going to add our pumpkin. Careful. So our pumpkin is added guys. I was just going to let this go for at least 30 minutes. I don't remember if I said to put pimento berries in. Like they just make your pot taste better. So pimento seeds at the initial of this video, okay? After a couple minutes or so, I just like to go in with my big spoon and smash some of my pumpkin like this. Just to help it, you know, dissolve in the soup. So just bring it to the corner of the pot like this and just smash it. So it's smash out. I don't know. I just I just like to do that. That's just me. You don't gotta do that, but you know, see? Smash it out. Alright, so what is soup without some spinach? So spinach is just dumplings and here I just have some um, flour and some cornmeal and some salt and added some water. I'm just going to form a dough. I'm a Kingston girl can eat flour, but I like them a feel. So as you can see, our soup is bobbing away. Most of the pumpkin has dissolved. That's how I like it. Now we're going to add our this 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 thing. Maggie, um, not Maggie. Grace, I'm sorry. Grace, we all grew up with this. It is a staple product in the home for soup. And for other things, it's just dehydrated soup mix. But even though we're making our soup from scratch, it makes it taste much better. So just this is the pumpkin beef one. I didn't have any beef. So I decided to get this one because it, it's really good. It's really good. Try it. It's not really expensive. I think I paid like a dollar fifty for this. So I'm gonna add two packs. Just just use it. Just just use it. I'm also gonna add our carrots in right now. Normally I would add all the veggies together, but because the chicken foot still feels a little hard, I don't want the Irish potato to get too soft, so I'm adding the carrots from now. Time to add our spinners. As I said, spinners are our little dumplings, so just pick up a, piece, a little piece and go like this. Nothing too big, you know? into our pot here. All right guys, we're getting into the final lap. So we're just going to add our, what is that? Potato. <laughs> and we have to season our pot for the last time, for the final time. So more time, another, um, sprig of green onion, some more garlic, another scotch bunny pepper, and you have some corn here. This is sweet corn, and it cooks really quickly, so that's why I wait till it, um, waited until the last minute. You see me? We're just going to stir and make sure everything has space to move around. And we can turn our heat to like six. This is our pot of chicken foot soup guys. We just made it run until the potatoes were cooked. Add more salt if you desire, but mine was good. Try the soup and remember to tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you try this recipe. Thank you for making it, Karin MD.